<laughs> wow, Jackson. I can't believe we got backstage. For like and subscribe. Co-written and directed by Benjamin Thompson. What a man. What a man. I wonder if we could meet him himself. Him, him himself, him the man himself, who wrote. The man himself, the and, man who wrote. And, direct. and directed. Wow. That'd be crazy. Oh my gosh. Is that him at the other side of the room? Yeah. Co-writer and director of like and subscribe, Benjamin, Benjamin Thompson? Thompson? Let's go walk up to him and see if we can get an interview of sorts. Hello, are you Benjamin Thompson, co-writer and director of Like and Subscribe? Depends, are you a lawyer? Maybe. Doesn't matter. Oh crap, then I need mine. Um, <laughs> but yes, I am Ben Thompson, the co-writer and director of Like and Subscribe. Oh wow. What a, yeah. what a wonderful experience. What a wonderful oh, man. experience. Yeah. Uh, do you think we could possibly get an interview of sorts with you, Benjamin Thompson, co-writer and director of Like and Subscribe? Well, you see, I'm pretty busy being the co-writer and director of Like and Subscribe. <laughs> oh, like so it. we'll have to see where it fits in in my schedule. Um, uh... Yeah, I suppose I can do an interview about me, Ben Thompson, the co-writer of Like and Subscribe, <laughs> and director. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How could we be so forgetful <laughs> so of our <laughs> roots? <laughs> um, well, we have this, this sort of uh, um, uh, podcast, you may call it, um, oh. where we like to interview people, um, usually co-writers and directors of sorts. Especially I'm if, one of those. Especially if the title of their play is Like and Subscribe. <laughs> Specifically, yeah, that's a very it's niche been very audience. very difficult to find other people. I think we've made our break, Jack. <laughs> I think we've done it. <laughs> well, congratulations, you two. You seem like good young prospects. You know what? I got, I got, I got to interview right now with these two guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll get you. We'll get you. Okay. Finish. All right. Hi, I'm here for my interview. Hello. Yeah, um, I just ditched these two other guys to... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right, welcome back to Kale Talk, guys. What, what episode is this now? Um, it's season two, episode something. Episode Probably something? Like seven. Seven? I think yeah. it's like seven around C-A. here. Mm-hmm. I um, actually listened to six on the way oh. here. Oh, so that yeah. definitely means we're on seven. So it's probably seven. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> I just yeah. kind of winged it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, well, we're here. Um, I don't know if you, you caught it before, but we're here with <laughs> Ben Thompson. <laughs> Go writer and director of... Like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Man, never get tired of hearing yeah. that. <laughs> Let us know a while ago that he was writing a play. <coughs> And of course, directing a play. <laughs> yeah, and, co-directing. Um, Ooh, and okay. he, he, yeah, and he asked if he could uh, come on here and mm-hmm. sort of advertise a yeah. little bit. And of course, us being the kindest souls, yes. uh, on us the, benevolent dictators yeah. that we are, <laughs> decided mm-hmm. uh, we we took it to court and uh, we came to the conclusion that yes, we can allow you on our podcast. <laughs> I'm so humbled. Um, <laughs> Chief uh, Justice Ben Thompson. Chief Justice. Yeah. <laughs> Is he with us today? <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for having me, I guess. Yes. Yeah, you're yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I guess, uh, obviously, people, people who are listening know what the title of your <laughs> yeah. play is. Would you like to go into more detail it's about late, it? It's Les Miserables, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. good. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like a mix of Legally Blonde and... Uh, and <laughs> it's 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 like the the dark souls of place. Truly, really. okay. makes you feel like Batman. But uh... <laughs> makes you feel like, <laughs> like you're legally blind. <laughs> um, but no, like and subscribe. It's a play that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, I'm doing it for a class. It's about these two brothers um, who, you know, they they're pretty good friends with each other. Uh, and they each have their favorite YouTuber, you know? Uh, but one day those two YouTubers get into a beef. And, um, well, things don't go too well for the brothers. At first they try to, like, you know, coexist. Like, hey, you know. But eventually it keeps going on and on and on until finally something happens and their relationship just breaks. And it all culminates in a, in a big ending that I wish I could talk about, but I can't. Because it's great. Um, stars Dylan McKenna, Adam Crawford, 
Names you don't know, but you will Man, soon. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, we had to CGMI out. Or CGMI. <laughs> CG in a play. Yeah, we had to, we had to uh, r- digitally remove him because of the Oscars controversy. <laughs> so uh, He's been replaced oh, by... Um, oh, too much, Kurt. <laughs> he's been replaced by a man you may know by uh, Kevin Spacey. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, totally uh, not a controversial thing. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Perfect. We looked at them, and they don't really look alike. I mean, they kind of do, but they're both named Kevin. <laughs> so we yeah. kind of figured Pretty it's, much. you know, it's basically the same, same person. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kevin James tried out, but yeah. too controversial. Too, con- <laughs> too controversial, of course. Uh, Kevin James, the mall cop. Well. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's uh, we've been working really hard on it. There's we're gonna incorporate video in our play, so like Ooh, there's cool. gonna be like screens behind the actors, and they're gonna react to it and stuff. Um, it's premiering May twenty third at four o'clock. It's one night only. It's half an hour. It's in the Saint Xavier Black Box Theater. If you're interested. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. You know what? we should go see that. We should mm-hmm. go see that. That yeah. sounds like. I actually don't know how much tickets are. So <laughs> tickets to be announced e- if there even are any. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think I think I'll definitely go check mm-hmm. that out. Yeah. So thanks for coming on and letting us know about it. All right. Yeah. End of episode. <laughs> End of episode. No, it's it's no. pretty cool. Uh, um, you know, you don't really get that opportunity to write and direct a play. So mm-hmm. That's kind yeah. of well, sweet. I, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you guys, I don't know if you guys have written anything for Theater Man, but... Uh, Theater Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I know, like... Haley wrote Two Mars, yeah. and that was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, sweet. Uh huh. And so, um, this you know, man is writing for Theater Man. Yes, I, I, I am. Um, but I think uh, plans are getting a little switched but, up, and I might have to talk to <laughs> talk about that at a later date. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh boy! <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing bad. Um, yeah. It's just a change of pace. Things, and, things are getting jumbled. yeah. Plans are getting jumbled, and I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll have to talk to him. Later. I, I, I can relate, actually. I, I submitted a few things to Theater Man, and nothing bad, completely my fault, but one thing led to another, and he got back to me as I was working on Like and Subscribe, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that, again, complete... I just want to make it clear in case he listens to this. It was completely my fault. I don't think he's going to listen to this. All right. Oh, okay, cool. Then, then he's a fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Um, but... I submitted a few things. He wanted edits, and I made them. Sent it. He was working on Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Sent. Then he came back with like suggestions. I was working on like subscribe, and I was like, "Sorry, I can't." Sorry, buddy. Mm-hmm. I got my own things going on. Uh-huh. Now. <laughs> Listen here, Buckaroo. Buckaroo. Um, Use Flash, pal. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, uh, cause I'm very interested in the film department, so Ooh, I've been trying to write mend. something of mm-hmm. sorts for him next year. I've been saying of sorts mm-hmm. quite a lot, uh, in the past eight minutes and twelve <laughs> seconds. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, plans are getting, mm-hmm. are getting really, really jumbled around. Really and jumbled and again, it's nothing bad, but it's yeah. like, so there's probably gonna be a change of pace. Um, I don't know if I, if you guys know or not, are, is film camp happening? Because yes, it is. Uh, okay, good. It is, it is happening. Good. Because um, this, here's a good story. So, um, we have a we have a film camp in our area, and um, it's it's like a separate thing from the school because he couldn't uh, get the funds from the school to actually do it um, in the summertime because you know school doesn't really happen in the summer. Yeah. Um, but naturally, naturally, for know, most, for most, yeah. Um, so he kind of started his own program, his own like little, little thingy, and there's a film camp a part of it that usually a lot of people join it. But um, this year, uh, we only had like 23 people signed up, and usually we get around like like 60. Mm-hmm. And he said the minimum amount of people needed to start the camp is 40. Yeah. And he was like, if we don't get more people turning things in, then mm-hmm. we're not gonna do it. Which sucks because um, you know it's it it's been a thing different. since it was since it started. Yeah. And we've mm-hmm. always had like around 60 people and now all of a sudden this year only 23 like mm-hmm. he was he was so confused i was so confused we didn't know what was going on um and for a while we were like all right it's probably just not gonna happen because yeah, just, mm-hmm. the the cap like the the due date was coming up and there were still only like were there t- 20 people that 
turned in on the due date. I know I was one of the people that um, <laughs> turned it in on so, the due date. <laughs> so what happened next is uh, a couple people in our class, the film uh, studio class that me and Jax are in, um, were like, oh, d- don't worry about it. You know, high schoolers, they procrastinate. They'll probably just turn things in at the last minute. I did that. Little did he know... The numbers jumped from 23 to 67 no. in one day. Oh my god. Which is over the cap. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, you yeah. know that is how numbers work, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Which like no, we're not going to have more than 60 people. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Um uh, but it's just he got so many in one day. He just took them all and was like, "All right, sweet." Um and then and then counted 67 and was like, "Uh-oh." But um right, right, right. Because the directors last year, we usually get split up into four, mm-hmm. and um, they were like, managing 15 people is too much. Mm. Uh, so I think he's bringing in six directors. What? So, oh, which Lordy. Is a, which is a big change of pace. Uh, and he's, he's thinking about switching things up. He talked to me about it. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't really know what they're going to do. But um, because I think they, they still have like a couple of people who like, said that they were going to sign up, but haven't done anything yet, and he can't, like, he, he can't, can't, like, can't, like turn no. them down. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you can't just say, sorry, no. Um, it's, but, yeah, so, uh, it jumped from film camp is probably not going to happen to we have too many, too many people, people uh-huh. in <laughs> one day. Oh, my God. It was, That's insane. It, was insane. it blew my mind, because... That's, I mean, it's cool, but also, he was like, Yeah, no, <laughs> he was, like, uh, he was, like, I know high school is procrastinate, but we've never had numbers this low. But yeah. good lord, <laughs> Every, oh my god, just the amount of procrastination in yeah. high is incredible. I was talking to Andrew, um, insert last name here, earlier, because he was helping with something, and he was like, oh my gosh, like, oh god, we aren't getting enough people? Oh, I should submit mine, like, right now, because he hadn't. I and then know. when I talked to Adam, too, like, when I saw him at Beauty and the Beast, he hadn't either. Yep, yeah, no, I mean, I know I turned mine in like the day after the duty because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> i like talked to the theater boy and was like hey i left it at home <laughs> yeah i usually turn those in pretty early i enjoy that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah i i loved doing it last year mm-hmm. last year was so much better. i don't really think he cares if you turn it in late i no, turn I mean, mine in like it. yeah i turn mm-hmm. mine in like probably like three or four the first year i did it like mm-hmm. three or four weeks after the cap because i didn't know it was, it was a thing yeah and then Riley told me about it and was like, hey, you should do it. And I was like, when was the due date? And he was like, like three weeks ago. And I just went up to him and was like, hey, I hope it's not too late. And he was like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, took it. I got my, that kind of similar. Um, and he, insert last name here. His dad told me about it. And I was like, oh, all right, I'll try it out. And it was like a day after the due date. And I was like, oh, shit. And my mom, like, ran, like rushed to Anderson, turned it in, and he was like, yeah, just go ahead. And then, yeah, here I am now, a big boy with his own play. Nice. Mm-hmm. Here we are now. Here we are now. You often um, forget where you Try not from. to say last names, by the way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like, yeah, God damn. I just, I have to go back and edit them out. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm... It takes, yeah. It takes two seconds. Jeez, uh, it takes two it seconds. It really but... does not. <laughs> it doesn't um, matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we we can talk about film camp more. Um, uh, last year was my first year doing it. Uh, really, and that is where I met mm-hmm. I met old old Ben boy, Woo, and, ben uh, boy. and I, I knew Jack prior to that. Uh-huh. Jack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry you knew me before that. What a, what a terrible <laughs> yeah, fate. Um, I think we started Kill Hawk prior to film camp. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, did yeah we did we totally did. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay, so speaking of film camp, now they I'm typing like a madman. I'm typing like a madman. They they came out with the um, sort of like synopsis and like character descriptions oh, for the films nice. for the fall, I not fall, seen yet. summer. Yeah, <laughs> and um, well, they seem kind of epic. I'm not sure which one I I like mm-hmm. the most. Um, I've not read, but there's only four because uh, like they didn't plan on getting this many numbers. Um, so first one is a, like, a murder mystery thing, like, a girl gets invited to, like, a dinner party, and, uh, the tagline is, when Catherine was invited to a murder mystery dinner party, she never expected to be stabbed in the back. Well, actually she did, but not in this way. 
What? <laughs> oh, pretty spooky. Yeah, the, the taglines all suck, but I promise they're going to be good. Oh, yeah. Um, there's another one that's called Fortune Cookie, which is a working title, and it's a, a girl with dormant psychic abilities gets clues from her to her brother's whereabouts through a series of fortune cookies. Oh. Which sounds like a very interesting mm-hmm. idea. I don't know how they're going to pull it off. Because, well, I mean, if it, it's not super difficult, but, um, like, I, I, I just, there's so many different directions they could go in yeah. with that. Um, the other one, which is kind of, you know, seems kind of okay. Um, there's one, it's, um, it's about, like, a girl... And uh, a girl who's supposedly perfect in the seven deadly sins uh, in, like, human form are, like, haunting her and trying to get her to, to do shitty stuff. I saw, I saw Shazam, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Shazam. I know how that story plays <laughs> out. Last one is just uh, a, like, survival apocalypse kind of deal. Really? Yeah. How are they going to do that? That's a very that, that vague sounds... subject that you just like. You have the synopsis in front of you, and you're all like, right, oh, fine. Here, I'll uh, pull it. survival." I'll pull it up again, <laughs> Buckaroo. Well, let's also remember these could change because okay. la- I'll, I'll yeah. read it in Plankton's voice. Do it. Ooh, humanity is all but lost. The last bastion <laughs> of hope lies in the walls of the Foundation, an institution housing the few surviving children of the apocalypse. Here they serve the will of the elders, a long gone group of leaders who have given. <laughs> Shit, I'm losing it. A long gone group of leaders who have given the survivors a path to salvation. <laughs> Can you just read the first line again? What? Humanity is all but lost. <laughs> Humanity is all but lost. The Krabby Daddy secret formula. <laughs> I just heard that and I was like, well, I'm done. Bye, everyone. Crabs. Humanity is all the lost. I'll see you all in therapy. I'll see you all. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. I'm a, little, I'm a little sick, so it's not too great right now. Aaron. Well, that was awesome. Aaron, my computer wife. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Dude. Oh my, I'm getting a, a phone ring. Oh, fun. Uh, no phones at the table. It's from Caleb, who we know. Is it? Do I want to answer Caleb, it? Answer. Put it on speaker. Put it on speaker. Caleb, you're on speakerphone, and you're on Kale Talk right now. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, I'll did see you later. Uh, did you Did you have a need? Oh, he, he hung up. <laughs> he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was fun. I mean, he probably feels really bad. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say, hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's up, dude? Um, that's very funny. What's <laughs> poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? <laughs> that's, that must be a great uh, way to hear the beginning of a phone call. Hey, you're on my podcast right now. <laughs> oh, uh, you ever watch, um, like, Super Mega? Or something. Uh, always. And, no. uh, like, that, that's they're... not what we based this show off yeah. of or anything. <laughs> well, partially. Yeah, partially. 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 Um, they, every once in a while, like, their moms or, or like, Matt's sister will call, <laughs> and he just answers it, and then, like, either doesn't tell them that they're on the show or tells them that they're on the show and then makes sure they don't hang up <laughs> and just continues their conversation <laughs> as if it's, like, normal. Um, and I, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Oh, no. It sounds funny. Yeah. Pretty epic. Uh, sounds sounds <laughs> kind of... Kind of <laughs> so, not, not so how, what do you guys Rum think about them. fishing? Fishing? Um, dude, Pretty dope. We have got to go on a fishing trip, Jack. <laughs> like, I will not rest this summer until we go on a fishing trip. <laughs> so, these these new... Uh, I new caught fangled, a trout once. Newfangled fishing memes are arousing the internet. And Jackson will not stop talking about it, and it's, it's hilarious. All right, so I, I used to go fishing all the time with my dad. Uh, so, like, I not ironically enjoy fishing. Yeah. So then when I see that it's become a meme, I'm like, oh, yes. This, <laughs> this is it. No, it's, it's hilarious <laughs> because it's, like, not a whole lot of people actually enjoy going out and, and fishing. You know, there's, there's mm-hmm. a few. Like, I, I, I can have fun with it, like, when I'm with other people, I can't just go out and do it by myself because I, yeah. oh, I find gosh, it long and yeah. monotonous. But um, I enjoy that. <laughs> but it's like there's these memes coming around that are like, 
when you go fishing with the boys, and it's just like this stupid ass like <laughs> like rage comic picture or something like that. It's, My favorite is the um, uh, the Coldplay music video. That's all the monkeys dancing in the jungle. <laughs> they're going insane, and it's the, the boys Sorry. the night before the fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unbelievably stupid, but so hilarious. Um, yeah. Fishing trip. So, Great. I, oh, absolutely. Uh, so I want to get a milkman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fishing um, video going. The trouts. The trouts. I, I suggested to Jackson and Riley that we that we go on a fishing trip for the milkman channel, mm-hmm. and they both. I said it as a joke, but you both immediately were like, "Yes, let's do it." <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> um, and our our two plans right now are either to have have like a dad conversation where we talk about the game last night and, and grilling and shit like yeah. that or we just fish for 20 minutes in silence <laughs> those are the two ideas we've got uh at the moment nah you know what you should do what's that the fishing that i do alone on the internet <laughs> with ph yeah <laughs> has you ever watched that tv show catfish i uh, meant to watch I the like documentary it was based on actually but pretty solid like not gonna like it sounds like in concept it sounds like oh it's an mtv reality show like mm-hmm. oh that's yeah. sounds lame as shit but it's mm-hmm. it's, it's shot well yeah. oh it's like good i don't mm. know it's as it's long just as it's not the learning channel it's probably the okay. learning channel tlc oh i didn't know that that's what that stood for dude. i was actually addicted to something on tlc i think it was like uh oh, fuck what was it um oh the cheapskate show. Cheaps- I, yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, jeez. Most, it's most like, shows on DLC, in my opinion, are just shit. It's I like about... Know. It follows these people who do these penny pinching... Like, all these techniques to save money, but mm-hmm. they go to the extreme. And it's like um, people who dumpster dive for their, like, uh, mm-hmm. uh, wife's anniversary gift or... Um, I got you a raccoon. Uh, <laughs> Howdy. Uh, I'm like, home with the raccoon you know, for you. Stealing gas station, baby changing station, so they don't have to buy their own. But my what? favorite one was what? a guy who shrink wrapped his entire house and like did all these things to make sure that the house wouldn't get dirty. He slept in a small closet. He didn't. He wore sh- like those things you put over your shoes when you're in like mm-hmm. a thing. And they framed it as, oh, this guy is so crazy. But by the end, he's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm just going to put this house on the market and sell it. And I'm going to make a shit ton of money because it's in pristine condition. And I was like, damn. (laughs) Kind of stupid, but also kind of smart. That's that's interesting. No, I I think in the long run, he's a genius because his house was valued at like $400,000 or something. And he could sell it for that because it was undamaged. Yeah. Uh, Damn, (laughs) I mean, I feel like I would much rather appreciate sleeping in a bed than uh, uh, I think in the closet. But In the short run, I'd love to just live in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. But honestly, you gotta do what you clean do. yourself in a hot tub. <laughs> Did he actually? Yeah, because the hot tub didn't devalue the house at all. And he, like, washed his clothes in it. He made his soup in it. He took baths. He made soup? He made soup in oh, hot tub. No, no, no. He, he kind of glazed over well, the, well, no. The way he did it was he'd take um, canned soup and he'd put it in a Tupperware and he'd just let it float there. I assume while he was taking a bath and washing his clothes. And it would heat it up. I feel like it wouldn't heat it up very much, though, right? Probably. Well, uh, how well, how hot are hot how hot do hot tubs get? I mean, they can get pretty hot, but I, I feel like you wouldn't want to bathe in 100 degree hot tub water. Well, no, it's okay because he puts he dries his clothes in like the freezer of his like the refrigerator freezer, mm-hmm. and he he says like, oh, I've had these jeans since I was in high school, and they still fit. So I've just kept wearing them. So I think there's more than just I'm trying to sell a house there. But like... Okay. There's, there's some more going on. Yeah. But no, the, it's so interesting what people will do. Like get married in a like a jewelry store or a department store or whatever. They'll like... Um, oh, find toys on the ground and give them to their kids. It's kind of sad. But Jeez. damn. I've seen some, I mean, just, like, where it's, like, really late at night, and I'll just, like, turn on the TV and just watch whatever is on, mm. like, it went, as soon as it turns on, and it was just, it was something along the lines of that, where it was, like, couponing, 
Oh, like, yeah. It. Oh! And someone was like, I'm buying the entire stock of their Advil here because essentially they're paying me to buy yeah. this because of the coupon. So they just bought like a oh, lifetime that's... supply of like a leave <laughs> and like it didn't, they paid like 10 cents for it. It was really weird. I was like, why? <laughs> What's the point? I think, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's helpful in uh-huh. some way. Well, yeah, you know, it's for the people with the 600 pound life. Oh, they need all that Aleve for the pain. <laughs> they need the Aleve. They need 12. That channel sucks. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's called the Learning Channel? Yeah, no. I didn't know that. Until it's more, <laughs> yeah, the same channel that aired Honey Boo Boo is called the Learning Channel. I was going to say, I did not no, I feel like, I, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't used to watch it, but I feel like they used to, like, do actual good shows. Mm. And then they kind of like, hey, what? let's do my Strange Addiction. Is that on there? <laughs> Yeah, I, th- th- I don't know. Just all these weird ass shows. There's no HBO. I'll tell you yeah. that. Oh uh, yeah. You guys see the trailer for the Watchmen HBO show? Yeah. yeah. That? Mm, that looks real good. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's gonna like be the new Game of Thrones. I think that that's what they're gonna shoot mm-hmm. for. Yeah. I I pref- should preface. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, I watch <laughs> Barry instead. Barry? Yeah, yeah. I've heard Barry's really good. Oh, Barry's so. <laughs> and it's it's always like I see it like the ad for it after Game of Thrones they're like in like ten minutes Barry and I'm like oh, I should probably one of these days just watch just it check it out yeah I just haven't um, <laughs> yeah I I have HBO now H- I yeah. have not been able to get past like season one episode I'm four. sure they're just been, long episodes I'm sure it's know. been purely mm-hmm. spoiled for you at this point like a thousand percent I've gotten like small spoilers okay. just because mm-hmm. I go on Reddit a lot um, right. a small spoiler about a wedding mm. mm-hmm. I, I haven't seen anything about that yet I know it's called the red wedding isn't it yes but I don't know anything about it's it it's shocking I mean I didn't I don't know I when I, I so I watch it I've been watching it for a few years mm-hmm. I got on the bandwagon before we were, I just like to die on my grave knowing that I was a hipster Ooh. and liked it before it was cool um, but I don't I don't know. I think people hype it up a lot because they've watched now in the last month mm-hmm. like 80 hours of Game of Thrones <laughs> and now they're all like eh, it's the crack cocaine of my favorite TV show right now and so they're like hyping up to the best show that's ever existed mm-hmm. and will ever exist but I think I don't think it's as crazy good as people say it is. I think it's really good. Don't don't doubt me there. I love it. It's amazing. However, comma, people will hype it up far beyond what would you what say is really the greatest is. show then just out of curiosity uh, i mean it's kind of a toss-up chowder chowder <laughs> uh um aqua teen hunger force aqua teen, <laughs> amazing world of gumball <laughs> arthur <laughs> uh i really liked uh band of brothers Ooh. Yeah. um and mad men Oh, I, I saw either of those. Yeah. <laughs> They're both phenomenal. What is Band of Brothers? Band of Brothers, it was a book originally, um, and it's about uh, paratroopers in World War II, Ooh. and it's phenomenal. It came out in like 2001, 2000, 2001, around there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's amazing. HBO, I feel like HBO kind of does the thing where they have like the one big show of the time, and like currently it's Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like previously it was like... The Sopranos or mm, The Wire, The Wire or Band of Brothers, mm-hmm. um, um, but it's shot phenomenally. It's the story is fantastic, acting is amazing, everything about it is fantastic. Um, Mad Men uh, is about uh, advertising in the fifties and sixties, mm-hmm. and it's just really good. Like, it's, it's just really good. I, I don't know how to how to describe it. it the story is really good. It's shot really well. It's good. <laughs> it is good. Uh, Indeed, it is good. Uh, like, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 if oh, uh, um, oh, oh <laughs> Don't mean to step on your... <laughs> sorry there. Uh, ow. Um, oh. <laughs> right, I was going to say, if you like shows that are really, really well shot, um, anything Sam Esmail, who created Mr. Robot and Mr. Homecoming, Robot, yes. I've those seen are, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot those are really good. phenomenal shows. Yes, Mr. Robot's fantastic. Uh-huh. I need to keep watching I saw season one, and I was like, this is really good. And then I I'm just all caught up. I'm waiting for season four now. Yeah, I, I need to see season two. Oh, and Fargo. Fargo, I've heard yeah. really good things, but I have mm-hmm. not seen. Jack, what's your favorite TV show? I don't know, you know, uh, I'm... I've well, I, been... I think there's maybe, a, there's maybe a disconnect. Sorry, totally not <laughs> asking you a question. Uh, this is just a thought that I had. Uh... 
I think there's a disconnect between favorite TV show and best TV show of all time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, knowing that, been, either one for you. I've always been more of a movie guy than a TV show guy. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I always, um, yeah, I, almost every weekend I, I, I watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I, I've been trying to watch more new movies, but it's hard to find, yeah. like, good ones to check out. Um, especially Ooh. since I, you know, I already have my list of, like, favorites. That doesn't mean some can, like, hop up there. Mm-hmm. But I've already seen quite a quite a few, um, at least ones that are like available to me right now. Because that's the thing is that like I have Netflix and there's so many like Hulu exclusives and like uh, now Disney's launching yeah. their own shit. I'm thinking about like <laughs> the pirating DC doesn't seem streaming that DC, dude. I want the DC streaming service so bad, but it's so expensive. It's it's so expensive for like what you get comics and yeah, that's the, you get the shows lot. like okay you get the comics mm-hmm. but I have Hoopla the library app oh, yeah. so I can get a ton of comics for free yeah. like twelve a month um, and I don't necessarily care about like the Teen Titan show yeah Young Justice I really want to see that see that's what I want I want to see Young Justice I want to see Doom Patrol mm-hmm. um, anyways Jack talk about your favorite TV shows uh, yes TV shows so time. so. Basically, what I'm getting into is that I I don't really get the time to check out too many TV shows, mm-hmm. just because I, I get recommended seven thousand a day. That's and, true. And yeah. I either don't have a way to watch them, or they're just too long, and I mm-hmm. and I'm too far behind. Like Game of Thrones, I I got recommended that uh, like for a while, but I, I just now got HBO yeah. because it's expensive, and I don't really have the kind of money to to just go spending willy-nilly mm-hmm. you feel yeah um so i've been checking it out but it's also just such a long show and sometimes i can't find the time to to watch it and um you know a movie i can get through in like two hours but mm-hmm. this is you're right it's like mm-hmm. 80 plus hours and i need to if i want to watch it i need to start watching it like every single day yeah and i don't know if i'm down for that kind of commitment so i don't know tv shows kind of all over the place my favorite ever probably it's always sunny uh, just because yeah. I, I always get pure joy mm-hmm. watching yeah, that show. That's true. Same. The show's really good. Trash Man. The Trash, Trash Man. man. Uh, <laughs> and then me and Mason, you always joke about it, it's always sunny because he loves that show. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Spoon Man. He always talks about, um, he's like, you may remember me as a man with small hands, <laughs> but I do indeed have very large hands. <laughs> I remember when we were practicing during... Like and subscribe. We had to pull up a video just as a placeholder, and they pulled up just a three-second clip of Frank walking in and going, "I'm a man, cheetah." I'm a man, cheetah. <laughs> he always says the weirdest shit. And it's so hilarious. That show would not be the same without Danny DeVito. Oh no, me. not at all. That's why season one was kind of meh, in my opinion. <laughs> was just because. One. No, oh. yeah, it, it was good, but it was like um, some people. Who I recommended the show to, they just had a hard time getting through season one. I think it's so. like hit season two, man. You'll, season one has the best like it. titles though. Like Charlie gets molested, yeah, the gang gets it's racist it's like, or something. They can't yeah. really do that kind of stuff anymore. Like there was an episode where where Mac, um, and like thinking about this now, like it's so dumb. But what did they do? They did a remake of something. Lethal Weapon Six. Yeah, they did Lethal Weapon ah! Six. That was just where, so good. Where, oh my god, yeah. Mac went like blackface uh-huh. and then they just got away with it because people were like oh it's always sunny you know they do that yeah. kind of stuff I think that's kind like, of that what was... sucks about how popular the show has gotten because like the first like what was it like season one or two they did an episode on like the gangs are terrorists now like the yeah. gang goes jihad or some <laughs> shit <laughs> and like I wish I was being hyperbolic <laughs> like that's, that's just, just actually it they just gotta do it but like you know it does suck that it's gotten more popular because people get more like you know the more mm. And there was the whole, like, uh, the abortion episode where Max sleeps with the girl, uh, at the abortion clinic, and then <laughs> he's all, the girl's like, I'm pregnant, he's like, you've gotta get an abortion. <laughs> yeah. like, I, and there's, like, gang warfare, <laughs> like... But yeah, it wasn't he, like, he was, like, um, cause he, he pretended to be against abortion mm-hmm. to get with this yes. girl, mm-hmm. and then when he got with her, he was like, alright, you have to get an abortion, and she <laughs> yeah. was like, what? I think they still get away with some stuff, like, yeah, I think season 12... That they had something really shocking where like the soldier was doing like a strip tease for all these girls and he yeah. gets up in one of their faces and she's like, Dad oh, <laughs> is, the girl's fucking dead. It was yeah. insane. I don't it, it's just that show never ceases to surprise me. I think um season twelve was amazing. I think season thirteen 
okay, have not the seen last anything. episode of season 13 blew my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not seen 12 because it, Well, I mean, because I think the, the last episode of season 13 is the only episode that I can think of in the entire show where the the gang actually does, or they, they actually do something good and get something good mm-hmm. out of it, which is an... A very strange uh, change of pace. Specifically, yeah. it's specifically an episode about Mac and Frank. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But like, it, it was very, it was very odd watching because I was like, "Huh? Did they just like yeah, I not had, get slapped in their asses?" I had that <laughs> moment, like Frank in the episode, where I was like, "I get it now." <laughs> yeah. No, but it was, it was, I, it, was it was a beautiful. Eleven's episode. the one that ends with them dying, right? No, or is that 12, the end of right? mm, I don't That's remember. That's 12. I think it's 12. Okay, well, Wait, whatever. didn't 12 end with uh, Dennis leaving? Oh, shit. Yes. You're right, it's 11. Yes, it, it, so I have not, because I have not seen the season leading up to Dennis leaving, even though I know he comes back in the next mm-hmm. one, doesn't he? Because yeah, his yeah. show didn't did do it very well. Um, <laughs> AP Bio? AP Bio, I heard, did not, was not very good. Um, no, it wasn't. <clears throat> but I saw up to when, when, when they died, and they, obviously, they didn't die, mm-hmm. yeah. but... Uh, and then I haven't seen the next seasons after that. However, I think they're on Hulu, so I should mm-hmm. get on that. Yes. Season twelve felt like a last season, though. Like, it did, but it was it was I don't know. Like right? watching it, I knew they had two seasons left, but I was like, they could end just on this. Like they wrapped up so many. Is season three se- the last one? Oh there's no, no there, there's one more coming up. I they had okay. two more from season twelve, yeah, so there's yeah, at yeah, least yeah. one more coming up. Um, but like they wrapped up a lot of series long arcs. Um, yeah, like, that was the thing is that it did feel like season twelve. In my opinion, I don't know if it's my favorite season. I can't really quite say that. Uh, um, the but, gang turns black yeah, because there's so <laughs> many episodes. Like I can't go back and say this specific season was mm-hmm. my favorite. But um, they did a really good job on season twelve. Like mm-hmm. the season twelve had some of their best episodes, and they were all like unique. You know they. Because for the most part, it starts out kind of normal, like they're in the bar, that someone does something stupid, and then the whole episode revolves around that stupid thing that they did. Mm-hmm. But they kind of broke that mold and went with a lot of like different directions. Mm-hmm. Like one episode in particular, one of my favorites, is an episode entirely in Frank's point of view. Oh my I've seen god! That episode, yeah, yeah that, that it's episode ins- is it's hilarious. Not that that episode earlier in the seasons, right? Mm. Then Frank's point of view. Yeah, it's like, yeah that was season twelve. What? Was it? It had to have been. Hold on. Hold on. I really liked the, uh, I mean, I mentioned Gang Turns Black, but the, uh, um, there's one at a water park that I think has spawned a couple of memes, particularly, obviously, Frank. Yeah, no, you're definitely, you're right, it's the 11th season. Nice. I, I was I like, I've seen that one things before. Wrong. Maybe it was, maybe it's season 11 that I'm saying was really good. Well, season 12 had know. the Mac, I won't say anything, but, like, where they went to the arbiter arbiter no what are they called mediators like the lawyer but not really lawyer basically mom settling an argument for adults <laughs> um but it had that one it had the gang turns black that's all i'll say about it because it's so great yeah and yeah, yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go home and fucking watch gang that. goes to the water park was a really good one wolf cola again Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Season twelve was really good. I think I'm, I'm kind of mixing together season eleven and season twelve into one, like, mega season, which is mm-hmm. not what it is. Anything that heavily featured the McPoyles, is just a great season overall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McPoyles, dude. yeah. Um, you will call her. <laughs> what, a good, uh, yeah, what a good show. Uh huh. I'm gonna go home and watch it now, dude. It sucks that the seasons are like. Like pretty short, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, but all, most good shows have that. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game we of... gotta focus on mm-hmm. quality over quantity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Not like The Flash or something where it's like mm-hmm. twenty-two hour long episodes. Yeah. The Flash. And it was good for a while. Arrow. It was yeah. Good. Arrow was pretty. Solid. Arrow was good for. I the first never. Two I don't seasons. know. I couldn't got it. I couldn't get into it all that much. I I did watch it quite a ways into it but mm-hmm. some people are like dude I'm still watching it and I'm like oh, I could not how the fuck do you I do couldn't that? name yeah. anyone I know who still watches <laughs> it it's kind of like The Walking Dead where everybody's got a point where they stopped they jumped off yeah, yeah. I, I, watches it. I jumped off season like what are they on now 10 
eight, I think. Eight. Well, whatever the previous season is to the one now is when mm-hmm. I stopped watching. I got like midway through it and I was like, I don't give a shit anymore. Like, all my favorite characters are dead. Mm-hmm. I just don't care. They're doing nothing. <laughs> I jumped off season three because The Flash premiered, and that was my mm-hmm. new interest. Yep. And then Flash, I jumped off after, I think, season four, just because I was... I kind of moved on mm-hmm. halfway through season four. That's it. Yeah. Um, TV shows. Huh? Yeah, I don't, yeah I, don't, like, I don't really watch a lot of TV anymore, dude. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. the only like, TV show that I watch is, like, Game of Thrones. There's just so much out there, and people keep on going, like, you should watch this, you should watch mm-hmm. this, and I'm like, I'll get to it after I watch 500 hours of this other show. Yeah, that's why See, I've, I've always had that, because I always, like, I only recently have started finishing TV shows that I start, because, mm-hmm. yeah. like, for the last, like, 17 years of my life, I'll, like, watch the first season of a TV show and be like okay and then never finish it or I'll watch like three episodes and be like this is great and then never finish it I usually just avoid the ones that have notorious types <coughs> in quality like everybody tells me watch Lost watch um I don't know Dexter watch this that and if I know that like it has either like a just dog shit ending mm-hmm. or like it slowly mm-hmm. just first got season, worse and first worse. Season Dexter is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Lost, yeah, Lost, I thought the first season was great. I have not seen mm-hmm. the first season of Lost. I've seen uh, the first episode of Lost. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, I thought it was great and then mm-hmm. they like, they like, there was this whole like mystery that was going on and then they like figured out the mystery and they were like, oh, okay. And then it just kept going on. <laughs> like, like, it wasn't really that big of a deal and mm-hmm. then, um, they kind of introduced this whole new like like they thought they were the only ones on the island and then they introduced this whole new like group of people and I was like alright great now I'm gonna have to learn all these people's names all their backstories and shit so I just stopped it there I was like I don't wanna have to go through the whole like introductory Mm -hmm. part again well it's good that movies exist yes exactly I love movies I like movies movies. better than TV shows I agree movies are better than TV Mm -hmm. shows yeah like this one Thunder Road so good it's on Amazon it's about this cop who just has like a mental breakdown mm. and it's like one of the most like raw kind of things i've ever seen Dude, i being a cop i i thought about it for a while obviously <laughs> not recently you know oh, when no. i was younger i was like i i like doing good things so i'm gonna be a policeman mm-hmm. but um Dude, being a cop must be, like, scarring mm-hmm. sometimes. Because you see some, like, real shit. Yeah. And then it's, like, either you're either you're a, you're a good cop and, like, bad shit gets thrown your way or you're a bad cop and you're the one that throws the bad shit. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, yeah. it, it feels yeah. like there's no good way to be a police officer because either everyone <laughs> hates you or you do good and you mm-hmm. see a you bunch of scarring up. shit. It's kind of like being a soldier, honestly. Yeah. Like, soldiers, uh, they have more... They're more loved than police officers, obviously, but, like, they're, back in the 60s and stuff, they were, like, hated. Yeah, because, because, like, you can be, um, a soldier who legitimately, like, like, helps the country, and, like, you could Mm -hmm. be a hero to to many, Mm -hmm. or you could be a soldier that committed war crimes, Mm -hmm. (laughs) and nobody can tell the difference by looking at you, so it's kind of, you, Mm -hmm. you either form this larger opinion of all soldiers are shitty people that commit war crimes and kill innocents or all soldiers are the best most morally high people on the planet and neither of those are true no but you can't tell by looking at someone if they're a bad soldier or a good soldier because so that's it, the point of soldiers it. they shave yeah. their heads they train them to become these machines and then suddenly they're indistinguishable from the last i will say that i could be a jacket soldier. i yeah. i feel that movie's so good <laughs> yeah, i haven't seen it oh haven't it's, seen it. it's kubrick um, yeah so it's so good i couldn't do the shit that soldiers mm. do so i you know i feel kind of um Mm-hmm. Like, I I don't know what the right word is like like proud or, or something like that like like damn they can go through all that shit mm-hmm. like, yeah. I couldn't do that so I yeah. I won't give them that yeah and I I'd say most of them are you know they just want to help out the country mm-hmm. but sometimes it's not even their fault that they're doing bad things it's just the government's like go kill these people and they're like okay yeah. I know I don't know the this is a bit of a pseudoscience theory I have, but um, I know a lot of Vietnam vets, not a lot, but some were like pretty racist when they came back towards mm-hmm. Vietnamese people. And I think a lot of that has to do with the weight of killing somebody is so heavy. They needed to like reprogram themselves to look at these people and say, these are not people. These are below me. That's, a, I have to do that's that. the plot of a Black Mirror episode. Is it? Um, so it's... 
uh, the it's like the future, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. But it's these soldiers, and they're shooting these like zombie kind of things. And the whole episode, you're like, oh, it's these zombie things. But then you find the one of them like gets like stabbed by the zombie with some like weird space device thing. Um, I'm butchering the, mm-hmm. a lot of this, but you get the point. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he starts like seeing shit, and they're like, oh, it like is messing with your head, dude. Like, don't worry about it. They're just like these weird zombie things. But then he starts seeing them as people. And you learn, and this is spoiling the episode, but whatever, uh, that the 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 dude, uh, all the soldiers have like this programming thing, like this like chip put in them when they become soldiers that makes them like the government can like program like these certain people to look like monsters so that they like indiscriminately will like kill them instead of looking at them as people. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that the that's a really good episode. But the soundtrack's done by the same people who did the soundtrack for Annihilation. Oh, nice. And yes, it's super cool. Mm-hmm. That's also what I based the um, Under Shadows soundtrack on. Oh, did you do the Under Shadows? <laughs> yeah, nice. I actually oh, like, composed that, and I based it off of Annihilation mm-hmm. in that Black Mirror episode. <laughs> Man, heavy stuff. Yes, crazy. It do. It we like do. that <laughs> often. Like, what are you googling there? Uh, you know what my favorite movie is. Hmm. What is it? If it, like unironically, if I had to guess what your favorite movie is, I'd say it's Scott Pilgrim. Um, that's one of my favorite. One, movies. I know. It's, yeah. I know it's Actually, there, no, it probably is my favorite movie. Um, my favorite movie is. Don't don't do it. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, but don't. <laughs> God, where is it? Oh, I no. I love shitting movies. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that's what it is. Video. Why, why I can't it? find it. What is it? <laughs> it's the fool from livingwaters.com. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Living Waters, dude! It's been so long. I, I just that just popped into my head all of a sudden. <laughs> and we, I don't the, know if you've seen the episode uh, where we discover livingwaters.com. Oh, no, I don't. But it's this like religious website what? that uh, has like some real weird shit on it. It's really weird. <laughs> like, they made movies, mm-hmm. um, and they have, like, dollar bills with, like, Star Wars characters on them. <laughs> and then, like, Bible quotes on the back. It's really weird. Yeah, it's uh, so weird. But like, Sean and... brought... Watch the episode with Sean. All right, yeah, it's, no. It, Sean brought it on, and it was... That's probably one of the funniest episodes. Have you guys seen the trailer for Laquisha? No. No, I haven't. Oh, my God. It's about oh this guy, a bartender, and... The, his, like, patrons are like, oh, you know, you should have a radio show. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll try it out. And he tries it out, sends it in, and he gets rejected. And he's like, damn, can't do this, and my wife is making me pay this tuition that's expensive. What am I supposed to do? So he looks at the contract again and sees, we encourage women and minorities. <laughs> so what does he do? He gets, he gets to his recording studio, gets to his mic, and goes, I'm no Quisha. <laughs> Oh, no. And, oh, and it's no. like a comedy about him trying to juggle the fact that he is not, in fact, a black woman. He's an <laughs> old, he's like a middle-aged white guy just trying to get oh, by. God. That sounds horrible. It's, that sounds very it bad. Looks that awful. sounds like the and worst movie I've ever heard, but I adore it, dude. And, and they're like, it's a, it's a terribly cut trailer, obviously, but I'm sure the movie's terrible, too. Mm. But he's, he's like intercutting between like a girl going like, I can't do it. I'm good at jump. And he's like, well, enjoy your jump, sweetie. Thanks for calling. Oh in like God. a terrible oh, accent. Oh, no. That oh. sounds... Oh, no. God, <laughs> that sounds like, like a couple of people were like, you know what would be funny? <laughs> that's and exactly they, And then they, yeah. they got the funds to turn it into mm-hmm. a real movie. Uh, God, that's like putting like... I, I don't know mm-hmm. what the budget is. Putting like thousands of oh, dollars into the hands of like, I'd say two, hundreds. two racist high school kids. Oh, like, yeah. What if we did this? <laughs> yeah. No, in the trailer they had like him watching a Mari kind of show. And like it's a terrible nostalgia critic esque green screen oh. where it's like they're like they're not standing on the ground. The ground is just like kind of there. There and they're like floating a bit and there are two fake imposed chairs and they're arguing. It's just so terrible. That sounds fun. Putting, putting their best so foot forward. Um but I, I eat that shit trying. up. Uh I eat that shit up. I watched like Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> Uh, Just really, Alvin. Yeah, I take. Alvin. I I enter. I go back and forth between watching something like The Master by Paul Thomas Anderson or like 
where the wild things are, and then just going to like Alvin and the Chipmunks, Arthur's missing pal. Oh no. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could not do that to myself. <laughs> I just enjoy the terrible filmmaking. I'm ready for Game of Thrones 2, Road Chip. The Road Chip? Yeah, the Squeak Wolf. Game of Thrones 3, the Squeak Wolf. <laughs> yeah, Chipwrecked Game on Game the island. Chip, I hate, I love, and simultaneously hate the, like, the names for the sequels. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. Chip. It's like up there with Electric Boogaloo. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm in the Chipmunks 2, Electric Chip. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Nope. Electric like Monkaloo. Monk. Get Monk. monked. Get monked. Get, that's their like synopsis. That's the, that's the tagline. <laughs> no, Get monked. No, the synopsis of the entire like. <laughs> Get monked. Get monked. <laughs> I can't wait for the movie that is titled something like, I don't know, The Cause. Dot MOV. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it before. Yeah. Uh, it's like a found footage. Show. <laughs> like ser- like you know, intentionally or not, like somebody's like, "Oh, here's the title. Oh, you forgot to rename the file." <laughs> oh shit. Or like x 83 bh 74 mp 4 We um on... Dingus, is that what you're about to yeah, bring yeah, up? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> on on the Milkman channel, um me and Riley put a, a Disney vlog, as you call mm-hmm. it, and um, I thought it'd be funny to just name it dingus.mp4, <laughs> and people came up to me, and they were like, did you mean to do that? And I was like, oh no, I just forgot <laughs> what I said. <laughs> no, I totally meant to do it, but, um, yeah. and then even Riley texted me, he was like, did you mean to leave the .mp4? And I was like, yeah, that'd be funny. It's funny, because yeah. I saw that, and I was like, Jack definitely meant to leave that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I like... I'll, I'll sometimes do that, but my computer fucks it up, so it'll be like .mp4, .mp4. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, movies are great, but you know what else is great? Like and subscribe. Uh, co-written, co-written and, directed. and co-directed by Ben Thompson. Ben Yemen. Yeah. Ben Yemen. Ben, ben Yemen Thompson. Ben, Thompson. ben Affleck. Ben Affleck himself. Mm-hmm. Out of rehab and on to Broadway. Out of rehab Broadway. The um, movie. The movie. On ice. <laughs> on ice. Dude, we like a... They should have gone on ice. Kale Talk, the movie, on, on ice. ice. <laughs> and we're... And it's Finding Kale Nemo. Kale Talk, theme. on ice. It's a, it's, it's a movie. You get it on a CD, but it, the screen's black. It's just audio. So it's still a podcast. You just hear... <laughs> so so what do you think? So, <laughs> I like the, the Doppler effect of like, so how was your... <laughs> Like we're going past this. <laughs> we, we like jump and do like a spin and the whole crowd goes, wow. Like, like, the, like, like a Wii, Wii Sports. Wii sports. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh yeah, you need a game adaptation for that too. Of course. <laughs> Talk the yeah. game. I miss like direct game movie adaptations. <laughs> Yeah, mm. I played the hell out of those when I was uh, B movie the was game, a Shrek the Third the game. Yes, dude, I played uh, so many movie mm-hmm. tie-in games when I was young. Yeah, Lego yeah. games. They made so many. Yes. Games. Oh, I loved those, but yeah. then I didn't. And then Bring I it back stopped. to the fir- very first episode: Lego games. Lego <laughs> games. Lego Star uh, Wars. I think that's a good place to, to end this. All right, to, yeah. To top her off. Uh, like and subscribe. To this channel, but also it's a play. Um, on May 23rd at 4 o'clock, St. Xavier Black Box Theater, tickets to be determined, pricing wise. Alright, we'll see you later. Alright, All right, thanks for having Audio me. Director. Thanks for having me. Uh, I gotta get to my lawyer now and talk to him <laughs> because I just oh, did this yeah, interview correct. and I said some uh, strong opinions. <laughs> Can't have any of that. No, no, business. no. None of those. Um, so never talk to me again. Here's my money. Please <laughs> leave, leave me alone. Don't hurt my family. Um, Maybe. And like and subscribe. No promises.